and then an Audi Coupe Quattro for Malcolm Wilson and Doug Parkhill, again both from New Zealand. Pascal Gabon is an absentee, he would have started at number four, so the next one away will be Jimmy McRae, the four times British rally champion, bringing his family with him because at number 19 will be his son, Colin McRae, who's had plenty of success in the British National Series so far in 1989. Well, after the first spectator special stage, in fact, it was Kenjiro Shinazuka and Jimmy McRae who both tied for the lead. Mitsubishi and Ford just ahead of Ingvar Carlsen's Mazda 323. The slippery conditions was obviously proving an advantage to the four-wheel drive Mazda 323s. After taking things easy early on, Ray Wilson was moving up into the top four. Surprisingly, the Audi Quattro Coupe of Malcolm Wilson was also going, well, not that quickly. They were to be in ninth place. Jimmy McRae was making the best of a bad job in these slippery conditions. On this special stage, too, he was to be equal third quickest. At least he'd got further than he did last year. Rod Millen wasn't hanging about, but he wasn't overly happy with his tyre choice. Malcolm Wilson was finding things, well, difficult because of the front-wheel drive on the Vauxhall. Whilst the four-wheel drive, four-wheel steering Kenjiro Shinazuka with the Mitsubishi Galant was just taking things plain steady. Possum Bourne with a rather underpowered Subaru was giving his all. Mind you, the engine did sound a bit strange. Ross Meeking was just inside the top ten with his Toyota Corolla.